Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to factory reset an iPad Pro 2022. This is the fourth generation with the M2 chip. I'm going to show you how to do this so that you can either process a refund or sell it and give it away without having any of your personal data kept on the iPad. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest tech tutorials. So the first thing that we need to do is to make sure that we sign out of iCloud. So this is going to be necessary if you're doing a refund. And it's also one of the steps that you need to do if you are factory resetting the device. So the first thing we need to do is to go to our settings app. So it's this little gray icon here with the little gear signs there. If you can't find it, you can always swipe down on the iPad on the home screen and then type in the word settings. Then we'll get the settings icon here. And at the top of the settings sidebar, we have the iCloud account that we're logged into. So I'm going to tap on this now. And then what we're going to do is to scroll down until we find the sign out button. So we're going to sign out of the iCloud account and basically all of your iCloud data, everything that's attached to here, for example, photos, iCloud Drive, iCloud Mail, Keychain, etc. Those are all going to be removed from this particular iPad. However, it's going to be stored on your iCloud account, which is one of your cloud services. So if you sign in again after this or you sign in on a different iPad, then all of that data is going to be brought over. So what I'm going to do now is press the sign out button and I'm going to enter my password. So once I've entered my password, I'm going to press this button turn off. So that's going to remove iCloud from this device. Here it's asking what data I want to keep. I don't want to keep anything at the moment. I'm going to press sign out. Are you sure? Yes, sign out. Now it's saying it's copying iCloud data. And you can see here that iCloud is being signed out in the sidebar. And now we have the option here to sign into Apple ID. So we don't have an iCloud account attached to this iPad anymore. So you've now signed out of this iPad. So once we are signed out of iCloud, what we're going to do is we're going to hit the general section here. And then on the right hand side, we're going to scroll down until we find this button here, transfer or reset iPad. And then we've got this button at the bottom, which says erase all contents and settings. So that's the one that we want to do if we want to make sure that none of our data is kept on the iPad when we sell the device or we refund it. It's going to be a bit cleaner. You don't want anyone else accessing any of your data. So what I'm going to do here is press the erase all contents and settings button. And it's going to say here, erasing will remove personal data from this iPad. We have 64 gigabytes of data here. I'm going to press continue. I'm going to type in the passcode for this iPad. And then here it's asking us, are you sure you want to erase all media contents and settings? I'm going to press erase iPad. And then that's going to erase this iPad. This doesn't necessarily take very long. This bar goes along pretty quick. So basically when that reset is complete, it's gone back to factory settings. So it's as if we have purchased an iPad for the very first time. It's exactly what you'd get pretty much when you buy a new iPad from the Apple store. So we can go ahead and select our language, select our region and set up as a completely new user. None of our data is kept on the iPad. So anyway, that is how you factory reset an iPad. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.